a soldier's mascot for the Bush War. He's supposed to offer protection for the men on the front lines. In Sierra Leone, a group of Nigerian soldiers prepares for battle on the border with Liberia. They're peacekeepers, here to stop the vicious war being waged between the Sierra Leone government and rebels. Refugees arrive, frightened out of their wits. Estimates of the numbers who fled the fighting range between 200,000 and half a million. Until earlier this year, the AFRC rebels held power in Sierra Leone's capital. Nigerian reinforcements enter Sierra Leone over the Liberian border, where ECOMOG is based. Nigerian forces, with British help, drove the rebels out of the capital, Freetown, in February and reinstated President Kaba in March. But reinstating the president has not brought peace to the countryside. The rebels have regrouped, and now they're mounting a cruel guerrilla war where it's ordinary people who are most under attack. Sierra Leone's villages and towns have become Nigerian military camps. And Sierra Leone's army has largely switched sides and joined the rebels. It's meant Ekamog and their British allies have had to recruit ethnic tribal groups to help them. They're the Komajors, hunters from the bush, fighters with magic who can allegedly shrug off bullets. Amulets and colourful fetishes are, they say, their most powerful weapons in this primitive battleground. As young men, each Komajor is initiated into the secret hunting rites of their forefathers. Now they're charged with hunting the rebels. With British military training, it's hoped they might bring peace to Sierra Leone, but increasingly it seems unlikely. We are the Kamajos. We actually came out from the act, from the Almighty Allah. It's a gift of something which I could not tell you much about it because I don't know of it. I am working with a spiritual something I don't know. But I believe in it and I believe in God. Songs of victory, age-old African magic serves as self-protection for modern political ideals. Are they to be the new Sierra Leone army? Many fear their loyalties are frail and mercenary, but for now, the Kamajors say they're with Sierra Leone's government. I'm fighting for the party. I'm fighting for, for Tijankaba. We are fighting for Tijankaba. We voted, we, we voted for Tijankaba. Our fetishes keep the junta's grenades away from us. They run away from us. The militia, in common with the spirits, enjoy respect. They freed the town Kenema from the junta, even before the Nigerian peacekeepers advanced. Wherever a Kamajor with his pouch full of magic things goes, people give him a wide berth. The Nigerian commander of the peace force in Kenema has a problem with his magic allies. They've begun to plunder. We have get we have, out. Okay, we have get out. Okay. We don't want to see a, a, anyone here. Yeah, yeah. You see, we have talked to Eddie. No. Eddie. But why is the guy snapping? We have talked to Eddie. Let them move out. Let them get out. <laughs> Nigerian soldiers stop Kamajor driven cars with a booty on the back. The sacks must go back to the storeroom from where they were stolen. But it's most controversial that the Kamajors have been receiving support from British backed mercenaries. These images are from 1995, when mercenaries were last responsible for defeating Sierra Leone's RUF rebels. Their philosophy, to utilize overwhelming force to achieve peace in the quickest time possible. They're mercenaries from Executive Outcomes, a company closely linked to Sandline. The British government have been instrumental in searching for a more forceful way of dealing with the Sierra Leone crisis. A Kamajor youth holds the head of a rival. This boy was used as a scout by the mercenaries. The Kamajor are happy to discuss democracy, but do they know what it really means? We are only friends of the Nigerian army for the purpose of restoring the Sierra Leone to democracy.
Kamajo, Nigeria, and Soja. Then why are you? The spirits of the forests are loose and believe in free choice. They believe in Islam and the eternal hunt. Now Ekamog has issued orders for the Commodore to stay in their barracks unless they're fighting the rebels. Though for now, the Commodores and Nigerian troops are pushing on together. The rebels in the northeast of the country are putting up fierce resistance. At the Bow checkpoint, the Nigerian troops have locked up their prisoners of war, mostly youngsters who took up arms for a lost cause. Bo, Sierra Leone's second largest town, has been almost completely destroyed. Most of the inhabitants have fled the fighting into the countryside. Traditional hunters, the Kamajor, now rule the town. And they can't wait to conquer the rest of the country. But in order to do so, they're fighting their own brothers and they're taking no prisoners. When Sierra Leone does find peace, who will send the Commodores back to the bush? They see themselves as ready to be the country's new legitimate army. And with some wearing Commodore police armbands and taking over civil duties, that's no joke. Sierra Leone's army has virtually been wiped out by the civil war. The Nigerians have brought the Commodores and ordinary Sierra Leoneans together to discuss the issue. Three days earlier, this town was at the center of a war. Now, everyone's thanking the peacekeepers for their salvation. One honorary speaker finds himself part of the dignitaries for the first time ever. He comes straight from the bush and he's the local Kamajor commander. Today, he agrees to put his troops under the command of the Nigerians, but many are questioning whether his forces will obey orders once the thrill of the fight passes. Who can say how long that's going to last? While international diplomats come to grip with the mayhem running rife through West Africa, the Kamajor and Sierra Leonean anarchy are just one more African quandary to be dealt with.